Hi, this is Ms. Black, Bossier Parish Community College, Open Campus Math 99. We are in Module 5, this is Video 2, and we're going to discuss today scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way to write numbers that include a lot of zeros in them. For example, if we go to our class notes, you will notice To read this decimal, you have to understand place value. So this is your tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions. So this is read 176 billions. It's probably the size of a microscopic cell. We would not want to see that number written that way in a scientific book because of all the zeros. So we're going to change this to scientific notation. The first thing you have to do is physically move the decimal point. And you want to put the decimal point somewhere in here that you would always form a number between 1 and 10. You don't want to put the decimal point there because that would be 17. You don't want to put it at the end because that would be 176. But if we put the decimal point here, we would have all zeros and then a 1. So this would be a number 1 and 76 hundredths which is between 1 and 10. Then you'll write times 10, because as we move along our place values in our number system, we move in groups of 10. And then we would figure out the exponent. To figure out the exponent, you just have to count how many place values you moved that point to get it back to where it originally was. So if we count, we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 place values. But because we moved it to the left, that implies our exponent would be negative. And that's what that number, 176 billionths, looks like in scientific notation. Let's try one more. Again, place value. One tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, ten billions, hundred billions. So this is read 935 billions. It's a lot of money. If I want to write that in scientific notation because I do not want to see the zeros, then I need to move the decimal point to a position where it makes a number between 1 and 10. If you look, I do not see the decimal point. So we understand if you do not see the decimal point, it's at the end of every whole number. Now, to put that decimal point to make a number between 1 and 10, we wouldn't want to put it there, that would make 935. Not there, that would make 93. But if we put the decimal point here, that makes 9n. So that decimal number between 1 and 10 is 9n35, or 9n3500. Then we write times 10, because we move along our number system, every movement is a power of 10. Now to figure out what the exponent is, we count. Here's where we put the decimal point. This is where it ended. So we're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We moved that decimal point 10 places and we moved it to the right. Because we moved it to the right, our exponent would be positive. And so 935 billion, written in scientific notation, looks like this. 9 and 3500 times 10 
to the 11th power. So this is the only thing that in this course that we do that's realistic, that's real life application, is understanding there's an importance for not only positive exponents, but also negative. And it has to do with rewriting a number that includes a lot of zeros. Hope that helped. Have a great day. Thank you.